The Senate on Wednesday asked the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited and its subsidiaries to submit relevant documents relating to the turnaround maintenance projects of the Nigerian refineries. The Senate noted that from 2010 to date, over 12 trillion naira has been spent on turnaround maintenance projects. The Senate also said that it had rec uh, records of over $592 million, 4.8 million pounds, and 3.4 million euros spent between 2010 to date on turnaround maintenance, yet none of the refineries were working. The Senate Ad Hoc Committee investigating the various turnaround maintenance projects of Nigerian refineries gave the directive during an interactive session with NNPCL management and other executives of the oil sector. Some of the heads of the affected agencies invited could not attend and sent representatives to the Senate investigating hearing. The chairman of the ad hoc committee, Senator Issa Jibril of Kogi East, noted that so much had been heard on the turnaround and so much had been spent on operational materials on the, on the refineries that were not working. And the Senate has resolved to probe all tax waivers by the federal government from 2015 to date, just as it sought cancellation of those not directly linked to non-governmental or non-profit organizations. The Senate also ordered the deregistration of all subsidiaries to the Nigeria Postal Service being irregular and illegal identities and called for an investigation of the 10 billion naira released by the Ministry of Finance for the proposed NIPOST restructuring and recapitalization. The upper legislative chamber also sought stiff punishments, including jail terms for violators of finance laws. The Senate resolved this on Wednesday during the passage of the 2024 to 2026 medium term expenditure framework and fiscal strategy paper. The passage of the executive communication followed its consideration and adoption of the report of the ad hoc committee set up for the purpose. The passage of the MTEF and FSP followed the consideration and adoption of the Senate's joint committees on finance, appropriations, national planning and economic affairs and local and foreign debts on the 2024 to 2026 medium term expenditure framework and fiscal strategy paper. And the House of Representatives on Wednesday inaugurated a special committee on all theft in a bid to address one of the threats to the nation's economy. At the ceremony in Abuja, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Tajuddin Abbas, said the country was losing an estimated 300,000 barrels of crude oil per day to theft, vandalism and other criminal activities. The development, according to the lawmakers, has cost the nation a great deal in the form of revenue loss, environmental disasters, threats to regional peace and security, the proliferation of arms, as well as poor investment climate. According to the speaker, the nation is incurring losses of all revenues estimated at 1.29 trillion naira annually due to industrial skill theft. He explained that the committee's primary objective was to determine the proximate and remote causes of all theft and recommend remedial measures to the parliament. Earlier, the chairman of the committee, Ado Adogua of APC Kano State, said the 2021 report of the National Extractive Industries Transparency Initiative indicated that the oil and gas sector accounted for 72.26% of Nigeria's total exports and government foreign exchange. And similarly, the Minister of Solid Minerals Development, Dele Alake, has proposed the review of the mining law to compel investors to obtain the consent of communities before applying for mineral titles. Speaking during his maiden visit to agencies of the ministry, the minister told the management of the mining uh, cadastral office that this would end the delay in processing applications that are smearing the image of the agency. The Special Assistant on Media to the Minister, Shegun Tomori, disclosed this in a statement on Wednesday. Alake, who arrived at the cadastral office 
lauded the efforts of the agency, but stressed the need to do more in addressing public complaints. In his welcome address, the Director General, MCO Obedaya Nkom, expressed delight in being the first agency to host the minister, restating the functions of the agency as the issuer of mining licenses. He revealed that uh, the MCO in 2022 digitized its operations with an online platform called Electronic Mining Cadastral System. According to him, though the new platform led to a significant rise in the number of applications as there have been delays in processing applications as a result of backlogs from the old system. <laughs> the House of Representatives on Wednesday expressed worry over what it described as low revenue from the Nigerian Railway Corporation. This was as the Office of the Accountant General for the Federation said the corporation remitted only 345 million naira in revenue for 2023, adding that the remittances covered January to September. The observations were made <clears throat> when the managing director of the corporation, Fidet Okiria, appeared before the House of Representatives Committee on Finance on Wednesday at the 2024 to 2026 medium term expenditure framework and fiscal strategy paper interactive session in Abuja. Answering questions from the James Faleke led, uh, led committee, Okiria admitted that there was ticket racketeering by, his, by its staff leading to loss of revenue. He, however, said the culprits had been sacked while those involved in lesser offenses were demoted. Addressing the NRCMD, Faleke said social media clips show their, how their staffers are engaging in tickets racketeering.